I'll be, well, giving you some tips as to how to make a adorable outfit with zero diamonds. Those, all the outfits I'm going to make to, in today's video is going to be free. And instead of giving you outfit ideas, um, I'll be teaching you so you can apply it in your outfits, which I think is more uh, important and easy to teach. So as you can see, this outfit I just made has literally no accessories, but it still looks not bad. It's not, it, it, it works at least. So some tips I'll give you is since you don't have heels, if you don't have heels, I'll uh, suggest you go with the cute theme because um, it will look a bit weird if you put on this face. But I think, I think it still works. It still works. Um, some stuff I would like to emphasize when you're making an outfit is the face in the outfit instead of the accessories. I've always put in a lot of um, attention on the face and the outfit, whether they match the hair color and the hair style, which don't require you to have any diamonds. Why do I say that they're very important? Because they are the main structures and accessories just give it more to more of a feeling i don't know but some faces some face creators i really like to use uh, this is one of them vex sv she has a lot of very adorable faces that goes along with a lot of themes another one is magalo is that how you read it but this was once a very popular creator as you can see you see many youtubers faces over here <laughs> all right and the other one that uses more common right now is v underscore v520 there is a lot of cute faces that goes along with outfits really well so the faces i use for my um this outfit is this one but basically, you are free to choose any other faces. So, um, let me just get a random face and try to make an outfit out of it. Oops. For example, I would choose this face. And I'm trying to go for the casual style. Then I'll probably just scroll through and find some faces. Uh, let's take a look. As you can see, there is really a large collection. Wow. Nope. I like to go with the middle length and not the two long ones. For those who don't go to the older faces, there is actually a lot of cute, cute hairs. Sorry, it's hairs. There, so you should go check it out when you have the time. As you can see, they still look really adorable. And they still work a lot. For example, I'll just go with this one. Mm. Yeah, and um, the bangs are quite important as well. So uh, probably I'll go with this one. If you don't have the hair pass, which is completely fine, as you can see, I could just easily go with another theme. And as for the outfits, I usually go to style and click cute because um, all the style, all the outfits there are really pretty and adorable as well. Or if you have a color theme, then you can just choose a color, color theme or you can choose a season. Um, now it's like spring, Easter, so you can cl double click both of them, scroll through and uh, find something. Huh. This one looks pretty. You can also change your skin tone if you like. Oh. Okay, this is fine. And uh, you basically have an outfit already. If you like, you can add some free accessories. Some accessories I like to use um, is the socks. Especially if you don't have heels. These are a great substitute. You can um, customize it. 
Oh. To make it match with the outfit or so. And there's also a ton of other accessories. As you can see, they're spring themed. Everything you'll just need just to create the best outfit that you like the most. Basically, in all in all, to conclude this whole thing off, choose a matching hairs, faces, choose a cute face, and matching outfit with the accessories that you make. And there you have it, a cute outfit for any occasion. Thank you guys for watching! <laughs>